Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're going to go back to some easier problems. This time it's 2016 uh, AMC 12 problem number 17 of the A test, I think. So let's first start by reading the problem. In triangle ABC, you've shown the figure AB equals 7, BC equals 8, and CA equals 9, and AH is an altitude. Points D and E are on sides AC and AB respectively, so that BD and C are angle bisectors, and they intersect AH at Q and P respectively, and we want to find PQ. So what we're given in the problem is that AH is, a, a, uh, is an altitude, so that means AHB is a right angle. In addition, ABC uh, is bisected by db and so is angle acb bisected by angle east c so we know that these two angles are equal if this is right and these two angles are equal so in order to find pq we ideally want to find for example the ratio of ap to pq to qh because then if we know the entire length length of AQ, then we can use these ratios to find the length of PQ, or I meant AH. So if we knew AH, we can use the ratios to find PQ, and then we'd be done. So first off, before I even start finding the ratios, we have to find the length of AH. And to do this, since AH is an altitude, we can use the area of a triangle twice. So one way of finding the area of a triangle is, of course, base times height over 2. So base times height over 2. And this is equal to, in this case, base is equal to h times the height ah all over 2, which is equal to 4 times ah. So that's one possible way to find the area. Another possible way to find the area is by Huron's formula, which is the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where s is equal to the semi-perimeter, in other words, a plus b plus c, over 2, half the perimeter. And a, b, and c are the sides of the triangle. And in this case, we actually know the size of the triangle, so we can figure out the area explicitly. And in this case, s equals 9 plus 8 plus 7 equals 24, over 2 equals 12. So the area is just 12 times 12 minus 9 is 3, times 12 minus 8 is 4, times 12 minus 7 is 5. And this works out to be equal to 12 times the square root of 5. However, we also know that the area is 4 times AH, so that means AH is simply equal to 3 times the square root of 5. So now we know that this thing is equal to 3 times the square root of 5. What remains to do is to find the ratios AP, PQ, and QH, the ratios they have with each other. And in order to do this, we note that since B, D, and C, E are angle bisectors, they follow the angle bisector theorem, which states that, for example, if we consider the triangle ACH, so in triangle ACH, we have the ratio AC over CH is equal to AP over PH. And this is true because P is the foot of the angle bisector from C to AH. And uh, so this is the angle bisector theorem. So in order to find the ratio of AP to PH, we need to find the ratio of AC to CH. We, all, we already know AC, but we don't know CH. Thankfully, to find CH, it's actually not that hard because we know that angle AHC is a right angle. So we can, can all just use Pythagorean theorem because we already know AC and AH. So we get that CH squared is equal to AC squared minus AH squared, which is equal to 81 minus, well, 3 squared of 5 squared is equal to 9 times 5, which is... 45 minus 45, which is equal to 36. So therefore, CH equals 6. So let's label this 
as 6. And now, of course, we know that bh is equal to 2 because 8 minus 6 is 2. So now we know ch and ac, we can calculate this ratio to be 9 to 6, which is equal to 3 halves. So now we get that ap over ph is 3 halves. Now similarly, we can do the same thing as aq to qh because we can use angle bisector theorem on triangle ABH. We get that AB over BH is equal to AQ over QH. And what does AB over BH equal? Well, AB is just 7 and BH is just 2, so this is just 7 halves. So now we know that the ratio of AQ to QH is 7 halves, and the ratio of AP to PH is 3 halves. So now all that we need to do is find PQ. And in order to do this, let's let AH equal X, for example. Then in order to find AP, PQ, and QH in terms of X, we can use these ratios in the following way. Since AC plus CH is equal to AH, the ratio of, uh, sorry, if AP plus PH is equal to AH, then the ratio of AP to AH is equal to, let's see, AP to AH is equal to 3 fifths because AH is AP plus PH and uh, their ratios is 3 to 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5. So now we know that AP over AH is 3 fifths, and since AH equals X, we get that AP equals 3 fifths X. Now we can do the exact same thing for AQ over QH, because AQ plus QH is also equal to AH. So we get that QH over AH is equal to 2 ninths, because 7 plus 2 is 9. So that means QH equals 2 ninths X. So what does that tell us? Since PQ is equal to AH minus AP minus QH, then PQ is simply equal to X minus 3 fifths X minus 2 ninth X, which is just X times 1 minus 3 fifths minus 2 ninths which is equal to, well, let's see, 3 ninths, that's 3 fifths plus 2 ninths, that's equal to 27 plus uh, 10 over 45, which is equal to 37 over 45. And 1 minus that is equal to 8 over 45. So we know that PQ is equal to 8 over 45, x. And now what remains to do is plug in x equals 3 fifths since we know that ah is equal to 3 fifths. So this is 8 over 45 times 3 fifths or 3 square root of 5 sorry not 3 fifths which is equal to 8 square root of 5 over 15. And we look back and see if we have that answer and uh, we indeed do. It's d. So we are done. Uh, today we're going to be doing a question from Bay Area Math Olympiad, sort of like USAMO. Um, BAMO, 